Hey YouTube, it's Ixalan with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be a double header against Whiteout625 and Jack in the Box 1210. They're both kind of quick battles, so I put them together. Alright, here's the first one. It's going to be an OU match against uh, the team that I've been most recently using. So I'm going to lead off with Gold Bond and set up the Sand. Uh, it's not really a Sandstorm team, uh, even though it looks like it is. And I'm just going to go for the Superpower to punch... Uh, Agron in the face, and he sets up his rocks, which is not really a big deal to me, so I'm going to use Super Power again, you know, just finish him off, get rid of that Pokemon early. I'm not too concerned about rocks, uh, they do hurt a few of my Pokemon, but I believe I have a Rapid Spinner on this team, so I'll be good. He goes down to Weavile, and uh, sets up the Ice Shard, which is going to do a decent amount of damage, but I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast, because why not, let's get some damage on this guy. Uh, start an early sweep. The Sandstorm is going to finish him off, and I'm going to take this turn to set up my Stealth Rocks, I believe, since uh, the Sandstorm would have taken him out if he had stayed in, and he switches out to Vaporeon. Now, I don't want to take the incoming Surf or Scald on Tyranitar, especially not this early, so I'm going to switch out into Virizion, who I know can just take the uh, predicted water attack pretty well. And he goes for the Surf, which is kind of relieving, because now I don't have to worry about residual damage from Burn. And I'm just going to start setting up here. I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, because I know if he is carrying Ice Beam, it's kind of a 50-50 chance that I'll be able to take it really well after a Calm Mind. And he is carrying it, and it does less than I thought it would after the Calm Mind, which is really good. Um, but, I mean, that just means he probably has no special attack EV investments. So I just go for the Giga Drain and do a lot and get back pretty much all my health. He goes for the Ice Beam again takes off a little. Sorry, that was my phone in the background. Um, not enough to make it really worthwhile, and I'm going to go for the Giga Drain again just to make sure in case he has, like, Wish or anything that doesn't get that off. And he switches out into Weavile to fodder off and die. And I'm like, okay, not a big deal. Uh, now he's going to send out Volcarona, and Volcarona's going to get raped by Stealth Rocks, which is pretty sweet. And I don't want him setting up, so I'm just going to taunt so he can't Quiver Dance. He just goes for the Heat Wave to get rid of Verzian which is definitely the better play for him to get him out of the way. And I'm going to go out to Don Corleone, my Golden Donfin. And he's Choice Banded, so I know I can probably take that Heat Wave. And I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin, which is going to do a little bit of damage, uh, enough to make it worth it, and get rid of the stones around my team for my other Pokemon. So then I go out to take uh, the Heat Wave from Mustachio, my giant mustache jellyfish. And he takes the Heat Wave like a boss. He's probably going to die at this point. His taunt wears off. But he has the Hurricane, which I honestly did not expect. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Cursed Body, it's disabled. I know the Scald will finish you off. That's a dead Volcarona. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And he's going to go out to Vaporeon to just die to Stealth Rocks. Uh, get him out of the way since he was Death Fodder anyways. It's not really a big deal. And then he brings out um, this Electric Bug... Galvantula, I think. And he goes for the Thunder, which in the Storm, I think, has 70% accuracy and hits. And I'm like, alright, no big deal. You know, Jellyfish is dead. I was just going for the Scald anyways, get some, you know, residual damage. And then he hits his second Thunder, which I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I was kind of hoping on the mix, but it wasn't a big deal. I basically just went for the Wish, because I want to pass it to my, um, Dawnfin. And I was fairly certain that he was Scarfed once I saw the Thunder come out. So I do, I go out into uh, Donfin to take the Wish, and the Thunder doesn't affect him. So he gets that, you know, almost full health thing going on. And I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard, because I know that it's going to do a lot of damage to whatever he has. And I saw the Hexorus, so I was kind of concerned about that. And it does, Ice Shard brings it down, so it's going to be a two-hit KO, even after Leftovers. And I love the nickname on this thing, Way Big. I don't know if anyone's ever watched... Ben 10, but it's, a, it's an amusing cartoon. Anyways, so he goes back into Galvantula, and after the rocks, Ice Shard will take it out, and that's going to be a good game. Um, it was an excellent battle. Uh, I had a lot of fun. And the next one is going to be against Jack in the Box 1210. Uh, both of their YouTube, uh, YouTube links will be in the description below, so check out their website or their channels. They're pretty cool battlers. This is an older team. This was a sun team that I made to counteract other weather teams when I was, you know, first testing out weather, first getting into it. So that's why I lead off with Caesar and not Ninetales, because I'm, you know, I try to bait out other weathers. 
And I just go for the U-turn out in the Tangrowth, because I know I can take whatever move he has, and he goes for the agility, and I'm like, alright, I'm going to be able to take whatever move he has, so I'm just going to put him to sleep. He gets off an X-Scissor, which does about a third, and my Sleep Powder puts him to sleep, and uh, I go for the Leech Seed on the Switch, just to get, you know, health back for Tangrowth, because Leftovers and Leech Seed are amazing on a wall. So I know I can't take the Bug Attack, or... Uh, flying attack, which everyone is going to use, because I'm thinking he might be special, uh, special attacking. So I go out to Nine Tails, who's my special wall, and he goes for the Quiver Dance to start setting up. And I'm like, well, shit. All right, I guess I will go for the Willow Wisp to get residual damage on him, just in case he is a physical, just in case he has physical attacks. And he goes for the Air Slash and does a little under a third. I'm like, all right, I can definitely take these. And I'm fairly certain that he's going to Quiver Dance again to set up to get more damage on the Air Slash. So I just go ahead and roar him out now that he's burned and uh, taking residual damage from the Leech Seed. I'm just like, let's just get him out of the way. And he comes out into Simisage? Pansage? One of those sages. I don't know. The Grass one. And I go for the Will-O-Wisp. And Hax is kind of on my side here because I get the Will-O-Wisp and he, miss he misses his attack. That kind of sucks because I know Will-O-Wisp has a lower accuracy than Rock Slide. But, I mean, what can you do? So I switch out into Tangrowth to take the Rock Slide, and I know he's going to switch because I can take whatever move he has, and I'm just going to sub on the switch, and he goes out into Volcarona, and I'm like, okay, probably taking the Fire move, so let's just set up the Leech Seed to get a little bit of residual damage, because there's no point in wasting a, uh, a substitute. So I get the Leech Seed, and I'm like, okay, a little bit of residual damage. He's probably going to go for the Fire move again, so I'm going to switch out now and go into my Heat Ran to take the fire move, and he does, he goes for the fiery dance again, I get flash fire, so my fire moves are up, so I'm like, awesome, I'm gonna go for, uh, flame charge, and he gets the psychic to pop my air balloon, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, like, really, I just want to live that first, you know, that first attack with the air balloon to, you know, negate any ground attacks, and then I'm just gonna start flame charging to get my speed up so that I'm faster, and I do, I kill off the... Volcarona, and then this Mothim comes in, or whatever it is, um, and I flame charge it, and it's dead, so, you know, I'm now super, super fast. Now he goes out into Steelix, his gold digger, and I just go for the fire blast, because I know it's gonna bring him down to sturdy at this point, since I'm max special attack, and he goes for the earthquake, and I'm like, alright, whatever, you know, you did your job, Heat Ran, you brought Steelix down to one. I can revenge kill him pretty easily, and I do, I go out into Venusaur, who now that the sun's out is much, much faster, I mean, naturally he was faster anyways, but he's ridiculously fast, I just go for the Earthquake, finish off the Steelix, and then he goes out into Houn, uh, not Houn, uh, Mightyena, that's what it is, and I go for the Earthquake again, just to see what kind of damage we're looking at, and it's not even half, so I'm like, crap, I'm gonna die to the Fire Fang, no, I live! I'm like, alright, I will die to the sucker punch awesome that's cool so he gets his moxie up and i'm like all right caesar come out and i can't remember if caesar is choice scarfed or choice banded i'm gonna say banded based on the damage but i'm not 100 percent sure i just go for the bullet punch to finish off the mighty anna and i'm gonna bullet punch the sage that comes out uh he goes for the brick break which does pitiful damage because caesar has natural bulk and I just bullet punch a second time to finish him off. And he's going to go on to his Kingler, which is asleep, and his last Pokemon. And I'm just going to switch into Tangrowth for the Power Whip to finish him off. And of course, knowing my luck, it misses the first time. But it gets him on the second round, so that's, uh, that's a dead Kingler, and that's a good game. Uh, both of these battlers were really good. Uh, Whiteout, Jack in the Box, 1210, both good games. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out their channel, um, comment, let me know what you guys thought. I added the little intro videos, those are probably retarded, but I mean, let me know your thoughts. And uh, subscribe to my channels, their channels, and I'll see you guys later.